All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a full document using uh, the preloaded templates that Pages already gives you. So this is great if you're doing a, a work assignment, uh, a school assignment, all those different things. So uh, I'm not going to use a create. Uh, I'm going to create a new document. So this is just my dashboard here. So um, let's go through here. I'm not going to be doing letters, resumes, or anything like that. So I'm going to do a report on wolves. So I like uh, this idea of this visual report. So I'm going to go and click that one because I'm going to hopefully do a lot of uh, things with uh, images here. So the first thing you'll see is this Trends Pruka, January 20th, 2014. This is the date I'm actually doing this, but this name is just kind of a sample name they put in all their documents. So go ahead and click up here, and I'm going to change this name here. I'm just going to title this as your Mac Helper. Your Mac Helper. Okay, perfect. And then I'm done with that now, so I, I'll keep that on there. So report on, I'm going to change this to report on, I don't know if it'll allow me to delete the whole thing, but I'm just going to do wolves. Okay, then hit done. Now I'll bring you back to uh, landscape mode. So I'm going to go ahead and see how they already have this already set up for me in a cool color. So wolves. The leader, whoops, the leader of the pack. I don't know why I called it that. I just did. You can name it whatever you want. So they've already kind of got some uh, images here that look pretty cool. I mean, they don't have anything to do with wolves, but Apple's already kind of done on some special effects to them, added tables, add, or not tables, but borders, put some uh, f uh, little nice effects on them. So what I want to do is I want to get some images of wolves. So... Siri, Google images of wolves. Searching Google for images of wolves. So let's go ahead and get a couple images of wolves here. So yeah, that's a good one. That's nice and scary. So save image there. Let's go like that one too. Save image. And let's go ahead and click that one. Save image. Okay, so that should give us three images. Now I'm going to just uh, four finger swipe to get back to here. And so Apple made this real easy for us so we can keep all these things here. I'm going to click the plus sign. And let's say I want to use that one first. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I think it looks. And then let's go ahead and click on this one. Let's use this guy there. And let's go ahead and change this one to this little pack here. And what you can do is you can adjust the sizes and still. And you can even go in here and actually change how they look in terms of the borders and background so I think th this has got gives us a shadow but see how it's kind of weird since it's angled um, so click on done I don't, I don't really like that or undo let's go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger I like that one so you know, let's move it around a little bit so that's I mean bam already done already looks cool let's say I want to bring this up a little bit more so I'm gonna bring that up there whoops yeah, I think that looks pretty cool already. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And I think that looks better. Okay, so... Wolves. One step away from being man's best friend. And so see how it automatically adjusted that? So I'm going to go ahead and hit return there so then it kind of adds a makes it a little bit more center makes it look pretty cool and so Apple automatically puts in some text for you uh, so let's go back to let's ask Siri for a Wikipedia page on wolves Siri show me the Wikipedia page for wolves all right here's what I got okay let's see the full article and as this is loading let's go ahead and um, so it's, it's automatically, for some reason, on um, Wikipedia, they only have stuff for the gray wolf or like the North American wolf, but that's fine um, for this, for exactly for what I'm using here. I think that'll be, that'll work just fine. So I like that information. Let's go ahead and copy that, swipe back over, and see how it automatically highlights all that text. I'm going to get paste. So it should automatically keep the same font, same text, everything for me. 
uh, but now just switch, it switches the text, so it keeps all the formatting the same. So actually it looks pretty good to me. You can go through and make sure things are spelled correctly. Um, everything's looking pretty good to me. Uh, let's say I didn't want these, all these little things here. I'm not really doing this to show to anybody, but if you needed to prove your your citations and things like that, you might want to keep those depending on how your uh, teacher or whatever you're doing this for uh, wants to look at it as. So I think that's looking pretty good. Um, let's say I wanted to actually change this paragraph. I thought that paragraph was like, let's say it was like a really important paragraph. So I'm going to go ahead and click the, the paintbrush tool here. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. And let's say I wanted to change the font text. Let's say I wanted it to be green. I like green. So then I also want to change the font. So let's go ahead and let's say we wanted that to be the font there. So, and let's say we wanted to do something more with this. So let's go click that again. And so just because it gives you a template doesn't mean you actually have to use every single thing about it. You can change pretty much everything, but Apple's just made it really easy to do all these things right off the bat. So let's go ahead and click, click on layout, or list, I mean, and go ahead and send that over. And let's go ahead, I don't really like how that's all the way over that way, so let's click highlight this section again because so Apple will know what you want to do with something if if it's highlighted so I'm gonna click this and drag this over so it makes it look more like kind of like let's say that was like a, a quote or something like that and so what's great about using uh, footers and headers like I changed right at the very beginning is it already automatically adds those page numbers on there for you which is pretty cool you can delete it if you want but all you gotta do is just tap on that brings it right back up for you so click done and let's say I wanted to do some more images so um, let's go back to Safari there and let's go to images of wolves let's actually click on more images and let's say I liked this one oops so sometimes you gotta actually open it up and save the image that way um, that one's funny, he's biting the other one's mouth, it looks like, or doing something, rather. And so that just brought up the actual Wikipedia page. So let's go back over to that, and um, let's see, oh, let's look at this one, Howlin'. Howlin' for justice. Oh, I like that picture. Nice white wolf. Save image. Let's see what other images you guys have on this website. Oh, that's fine. And yeah, make sure, like, if you're using this for anything important, make sure that you give uh, credit to the, the photographers or anything like that you're using. If you're actually using this for a copyrighted material, make sure you're not stealing from anybody. But uh, let's go ahead and kick that one. That one, I like that one because they're kind of licking each other. That's funny. So click and hold. Let's click Save Image. Now let's go back and add some more images. So, um... Go ahead and click the plus sign here. Found that. Click on that. Let's say you wanted to do a table and you wanted to do a bunch of uh, images in that table. So let's go ahead and click. Uh, I had green earlier, so let's use green again. And go click that. And click the plus sign. Click the image. And let's go ahead and click that one. Oh, never mind. I didn't want to put it in the table, so maybe you can't do that with this. But let's go ahead and delete that table out of there then. And so I'm going to go ahead and let's say I wanted that image to go there. And let's say I wanted to kind of do the same thing I did earlier with that image, or the Apple images that Apple provided. You can do that and kind of add the little reflection, which looks pretty cool. And let's say you wanted to add more space around that. So you actually click on Arrange and you click on Wrap and you hit Above and Below. Or you can click Around, which kind of puts it all the way around it kind of makes it look more like a magazine printout kind of deal and so let's say it still had a ton of space on there you can actually increase that so it's going to give it a little bit more space per thing so let's see how it now added enough space so you can see the full reflection that's what adding that space actually does so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more let's let's no I don't want to do that let's go ahead and add another image in here let's get the white fang looking pup so that's nice and huge. Don't want it that big. So let's go ahead and shrink it down. And let's go ahead and put it over here. 
and let's go ahead and mess around with this one a little bit. Let's add some more font there. That looks good. Let's go ahead and add some reflection to that one. No, let's do, go ahead and do that one. Or maybe we want to do a, a different type of border. Let's say we want to do a squiggly line. And see how you can barely see that, but now you can make it like look like that. That looks pretty cool. Okay, and so I think that looks like a pretty good document. Uh, so see how it kind of added that last little bit, and let's say I didn't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and make this image a little bit smaller so we can add all that text on there. And now it's all right there, so I'm going to slide that over a little bit. That still looks pretty good. Oh, but see, now this is where you can come in and mess around with the, the size of that. So now it's right up on there. And you could actually make the image a little bit bigger if you wanted to now. Yeah. So that looks pretty good. And see what I did? I just did, I just made a, I mean, yeah, the front one's just images, but I just did a two-page document in less than five minutes just by copying and pasting some basic documents, adding some extra images, and this is all using Apple's pre-made templates. So that actually went pretty fast considering I didn't actually type any of the material, but, I mean, it just shows you how fast you're able to make a great-looking document with minimal effort. So um, now if you wanted to send this as a PDF maybe your teacher or your work wants that as a PDF PDFs are great for keeping formatting very very much the same but let's say you needed to do it as a, a Microsoft Word document go ahead and click that now you can share it via iCloud link send it as a copy or open another app so let's go ahead and just send as a copy and let's say I wanted to just mail it I want to email it it's going to give you four choices your EPUB is kind of how your iBooks, that's what your iBooks are formatted as. A PDF was what I just explained. This is Pages, and you got your Microsoft Word. So you just click Word, continue that, and then it will bring up where you're going to send it to. So this would be my teacher, whatever. You could just, and then you go ahead and send it that way. I'm going to delete that draft out of there. But that's it for using a full blown Apple template. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you email us at info at yourmachelpers.com. That's info at yourmachelpers.com. Or go ahead and find us on Facebook at, fa at facebook.com slash machelpers and post a, excuse me, send a message to our to us or go ahead and post on our wall and uh, we'll help you out. Thanks.